This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. It's the show where you could ask me, John Rettinger, any question you've got from the wide, wide world of technology. Don't know what phone to get, don't know what tablet to get, or have a question about how Techno Buffalo runs, or even a question about me personally, you can go ahead and ask it. Every Tuesday on TechnoBuffalo.com, we'll put up an article asking for questions. You can either leave them down uh, in the comments. Otherwise, send it to us on Twitter. Send it to either me, at john 4 lakers or at TechnoBuffalo. Ask the question, use hashtag AskTheB. Up this week, we're going to talk about where we get all our products from, talk about maybe some cheap tablets coming in the near future, some phones, and all kinds of information in between. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. So about every six months or so, I will answer this question. I uh, want to know about where our gadgets come from. This one comes from Twitter and user per alien 12. Hey John, how does CB get their devices? Does the company have to pay for them or do companies send them uh, like a trade off for free advertising? First and foremost, never trade off for free advertising. That is not only illegal, it's unethical and not awesome. So no, that misconception that sites do that is absolutely ludicrous. It's respectable sites, absolutely not. Uh, most advice that we get as review units and we always disclose when they were sent to us by the company. If you watch our videos, I'll say this phone was sent to us courtesy of AT&T. Uh, some phones will actually go out and buy if we can't get them or if you feel like maybe our review might be compromised uh, by getting them. If you ever feel and you ever want to get into tech reviewing and you feel like you're compelled to give a good review because someone sent you a device, stop it. Stop it immediately. You are in the wrong industry. Uh, you can't be afraid to give an honest opinion. Otherwise, you're never going to get credibility in this industry. So hopefully that helps answer your question. So the next question comes from Jesse Gabriel who asks, can you do Ask the Buffalo for the entire time with a Batman voice? No. No, I can't do that. I can do you one better. All right, so our next question comes from at D1 who gains at John for Lakers. What will CES cover? CES is going to cover Gotham. It's going to cover the extent of consumer electronics. It stands for consumer electronics show. That's what it stands for. It's going to cover TVs, cell phones, laptops, accessories, everything in between. Lots of touchscreens, lots of 3D technology, and everything that goes along with that. Dent. So now that I've got a sore throat, I don't know how Christian Bale did that for three movies. What are you doing? Get out of the frame! This isn't f***ing amateur hour. What are you doing, man? All right, so the Microsoft Surface is just a few months old, but already there's talk or at least hope that maybe we'll see a lower price version uh, of presumably the RT version. Uh, so this question comes from one of our most prolific commenters. I uh, love him or hate him. It's Fat Man XXL who asks, John, any chance of a budget Surface tablet in the ballpark of 250 to 350 ish? Uh, I would say no until we see an update to the current RT version. Uh, you know, like Apple does with their tablets when a new version comes out, they discount the outgoing model. So probably six to eight months when we see a new spec RT version, we probably will see a price reduction uh, on the existing RT models. Microsoft and Datalee will have stock to burn, so we should see a lower price. We've been waiting for that Windows 8 tablet. Uh, you really want to pick up a Surface, then maybe you want to wait uh, probably about six more months. So we take a minute from answering all your questions to thank our friends and sponsors at Carbonite. Carbonite Online Backup is automatic cloud backup for the computer files at your home office or small business. Just set it up once and Carbonite will protect your computer files so you don't have to worry about it. You can stay focused on running your own business. No hardware is going to be required. With Carbonite, getting lost files back is super easy. Your employees can even access their backup files on their smartphones or iPad with a free Carbonite app. Carbonite is the better backup plan for your home office or small business or just all your stuff. Start your free trial today at Carbonite.com, enter offer code TECHNO, and you get two free months if you decide to buy. Give it a shot, there's no risk at all. That's Carbonite.com and the offer code for two bonus months is TECHNO. Now back to the questions. All right, so let's go from Microsoft over to BlackBerry. User at Domingo Knows says, at John for Lakers, do you think BB10 will get enough dev support to compete with at least Windows Phone 8? I hope so. Uh, the answer is still yet to be written. Microsoft paid developers a ton of money, bribed them with cash and free phones to start coding for them. 
Uh, certainly RIM does not have the deep, deep, deep pockets uh, that Microsoft does, but I'm hopeful that developers will come back to BlackBerry, that they'll be excited to develop for a new platform. Uh, BlackBerry 10 based on QNX looks pretty awesome, uh, and I am fingers crossed hoping uh, developers will flock to it. But only time is going to tell, and of course, RIM's got to release the darn things. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. It's freshly redesigned and ready for you to peruse. I am John Rettinger. I'll see you next video.